Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this phone case using shell stitch. I've used 5 ply cotton yarn and a 3mm hook. So let's start. For this project, start with a slip knot and any multiple of 8. So I'll be doing 16. And after the multiple of 8, you need to add 3 more chains. So I'm doing 16 plus 3, 19. Here I've got my 19 chains and now I'm going to work from the second chain from hook. So this is the first chain, go into the second one, insert and do a single crochet. And I'm going to place a stitch marker into that space where I did my first single crochet, I mean this chain here. So I know exactly where I need to work, when I need to finish this round. And I'm going to place another single crochet into the same. So I've got two single crochet into the second chain from hook and now I'm going to do one single crochet into each of the next 16. So the multiple you choose, you need to do those single crochet and the last one is going to be different. So now I'm going to do one single crochet next 16 or whatever multiple you choose. If you've chosen 24, you'll have, you'll have 24 single crochet. And the last chain is going to be four single crochet into the last one. One, two, three, and four and now again one single crochet into each into the back of the chains you're gonna have 16 single crochet so like this and to finish the round I'm gonna place two more into the chain where I've done the first two single crochet and I put this stitch marker onto that place so take the stitch marker out and place two more into the same one so now I've got four in here and slip stitch into the first single crochet So the first round is done, for the second round, chain 1, single crochet into the same stitch, 1 and again insert into the same one and place another. So I've got 2 into the first one and you can place the stitch marker back into the first And now I'm going to place two single crochet into the next one. One and two. Now again one single crochet into next 16. Until you are here into this four single crochet done into the last one. And I'm here into this four. I'm going to do two single crochet into each of next four. So you're going to have eight single crochet. One and two. Then into the next. Three and four. Into the next. Five. Six. And the next. Seven and eight, and then again one single crochet into each of next sixteen. Now I'm going to place two single crochet into each into the last two. Don't mess up with this one. This is the slip stitch of last round. So now I'm going to do two into the next. 1 and 2 then 2 into the next 1 and 2 and slip stitch on top of the first single crochet so 
so that's done now the next round is going to be a round of shell stitch and in order to do that I'm going to start by slip stitching next three stitches one two three I'm going to slip stitch and go into the fourth position where I'm going to start doing my first single crochet so go into the next slip stitch one go into the next two go into the next three and now into the fourth one the next one I'm going to do a single crochet single crochet and place a stitch marker on top of the single crochet this is the first stitch of the round and now I'm going to skip next three stitches one two three go into the fourth and I'm going to place nine double crochet into the fourth stitch one two after the nine double crochet skip next three one two three go into the fourth stitch and place a single crochet like this so you've got one shell and now I'm going to repeat that skip three go into the fourth do nine double crochet into the fourth and after the ninth skip three go into the fourth and do a single crochet so this is the repeat so the shell I'm going to skip three one two three go into the fourth and single crochet and repeat all the way around after the last shell you should have the three slip stitches you need to skip those and go into the first single crochet which is this one and take the stitch marker off go into that and do a slip stitch so this is the slip stitch done and now I'm going to chain one and cut the yarn so here I've got my new yarn with a slip knot done and now I'm going to join into the place where I've finished the work so the slip stitch position here into the single crochet so I'm going to insert and grab the yarn so if you want to continue with the same yarn you just need to keep working so for the slip stitch just keep working so I'm gonna do now chain four one two three and four the first three chains are a double crochet and the fourth is a chain and then yarn over insert into the same and place a double crochet so this is a V stitch done double crochet chain and a double crochet and now chain five one two three four and five skip the shell and I'm gonna work into the single crochet only so chain chain five skip shell go into the single crochet yarn over and do a V stitch which is double crochet chain one and a double crochet and keep repeating chain five one two three four five skip shell work into the single crochet and a v stitch so double crochet chain one and a double crochet after the last chain five and the shell skip the shell go into the chain three one two three and slip stitch and for the next round I'm going to slip stitch again into the chain one space like this and work a shell into the chain one space of the V so each chain one space of the V stitches is going to be a shell and the single crochet is going to be on top of the last shell here so chain three one two three which is the first double crochet and now i'm going to place eight double crochet so total of nine counting the chain three so two three after the nine double crochet now i'm going to place a single crochet on top of the fifth double crochet of the shell round so this is the shell 
and count the fifth one one two three four five which is the middle one insert and keep the chain five on top of the working yarn like this on the hook you see and single crochet so the chain five is secured now with the single crochet and I'm going to repeat the same thing nine double crochet into the chain one space of the V after the nine double crochet single crochet on top of the shell the fifth stitch one two three four five and single crochet so this is how it looks I need to repeat here I'm into the last shell and single crochet and to finish the work I'm going into the chain three on top of the number three I'm gonna do the slip stitch so that's it and now if you continue with the same yarn you'll have to start working into the single crochet which is this one so what or this one so one option is cutting the yarn and then joining again in here or the second option is you can slip stitch all the way into the shell until you are into the single crochet and then keep working and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the yarn and join the new one so chain one cut pull and that's it so this is how it looks and now it would be just repeating the last two rounds these two and joining from here if you continue with the same slip stitch all the way and start working from this single crochet in here so here I've got my new yarn with the slip knot insert into the single crochet grab chain four one two three four and then double crochet into the same so this is a V stitch now chain five skip the shell V chain five skip the shell and then V then again repeat the shell round so now it's just repeating these two rounds and I've continued for total of 12 shell rounds so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and now this is where I finished and this is a slip stitch position here and now if you're making it bigger make sure that you finish off with a round of shell this way so three shell here on this side and three on the other uh, don't finish off with this half round here with the half shell being onto the sides so you have full three shells and now I'm gonna make a little bit of flap for the button so you can close it up and I'm gonna join into the third double crochet so this is the first second and third one here and grab the yarn submit a slip knot and grab that chain one chain one doesn't count now I'm gonna place a half double crochet into the same stitch so yarn over and do a half double crochet and now I'm gonna do three single crochet next three is going to be single crochet one two three and the last one is going to be a half double crochet so you have total of five and now chain one turn work and place one half double crochet into each so you're gonna have five half double crochet one two three four and five and continue chain one turn work 
and a round of half double crochet I did three rounds of half double crochet and now chain five one two three four and five then turn the work and slip stitch into the last stitch so the fifth one like this and now I'm going to chain one turn the work and place a single crochet into this chain space here like this one two three four and five so once you've done your five now go into the side of the stitch like this and slip stitch then chain one and cut the yarn this is how it looks now you can add a button here and then just close it up 